Welcome back to Workshop Wednesday. I'm Chelsea Bussemeyer. Thanks for joining me today in my workshop in a little bit of a different location. So much sunshine coming in that the camera was like overexposing. And so this was the best location that I could find. And so hopefully we can get a clear video today. But I'm excited for today's video because we get to make this adorable little toque. I love these little tutorial sew alongs when I do them. They're always a little bit longer, so I don't do them as often, but uh, they're super fun. And this little toque, honestly, I've been planning on making for like, well, let's just say my second boy is two. And I had one for my first son and he loves his so much he hasn't given it up yet. And I've been planning on making another one. And so today I get to make one. This purple one is actually for my little niece. So I'm gonna make a few of them now that I finally have copied the pattern. You saw that in a video a couple weeks ago and I have now made two sizes. So uh, for kind of toddlers and uh, kindergarten, preschool kind of age kids, as well as one for a little bit smaller babies, uh, this one. So it's about probably like three months to a year in size. And these tubes are my favorite one because they're so cute. It's really adorable when the little kiddos are running around or when my son with his is running around and it looks like a little little gnome outside but I love them so much because they stay on their head so I don't know if you have any little ones running around but it is hard to keep toques on your kids hats on your kids on most kids anyways and this one just stays on so nicely because it goes really around the neck as well as it keeps their ears warm and their neck warm you wouldn't really want to put a scarf on a small baby um, or a small kid but this toque is just so great for that and you can also just kind of pull it down and have it in the back like a hood if you want but it stays on just really really well let's head on over to my cutting table and get started with this project to start off you're going to want to pick the size you want to make and cut out your pattern this pattern will look a little different than yours since this is actually my first draft of the smaller size pattern before I got it together in the PDF. But we'll want to pick your fabrics and lay it on a fold. And you need two of the, the full cutout of the pattern on the fold. This hat is made with two different colors, so I'm gonna do this again. I actually have two little nieces. One is three months and one is just gonna be a year here uh, in the middle of the month. So they're both going to get a purple toque and I really like doing the two colors. It's a little bit fun, uh, more fun to have a little bit of a different color on the inside. You can totally reverse these toques too. So uh, it's exactly, exactly the same. They're cut uh, so that you can just reverse them for whatever type of pattern you might want to do if you want to print on the inside or on the outside. But we're just going to lay it here on my fold and I'm going to cut out quick this light purple and then do a second one in the dark purple. Here they are, both pieces of my toque are cut out. You can really use any fabric that has a stretch for this toque. Here I'm using kind of a t-shirt jersey, a single jersey. It has a ton of stretch to it. It's not particularly heavy, but it's a great weight, especially for the smaller size, so it doesn't get too bulky on the kids. If your material has less stretch to it, of course, they'll just grow out of it faster just because it won't be able to stretch and kind of grow with them. But any kind of fabric with a, a stretch to it, and I would just recommend a knit for, for your toque as well. Because I'm using a jersey material and I have a serger, I'm gonna use a three thread overlock stitch to stitch this little toque together. If you don't have a serger, you can still definitely use jersey. And on these first two seams, I would recommend either using your knit stitch or a little bit of a zigzag. It doesn't have to be a ton of a zigzag, but around the face, it's gonna stretch a little bit when they put it on or if they pop it down like a hood. And it might get a little bit of a tug or stretch on uh, the hem seam as well. And these two seams aren't going to get a lot of strain, like pulling the two layers apart. It's basically just holding the two layers together. So either types of those stitches would really work well if you don't have the serger. Just make sure that if you are using a knit or jersey that you do have the right type of needle for it. So first, 
even though you could sew this tube together the other way around, we're gonna sew it together flat. And that just means I'm gonna spread out both layers, lay them on top of each other, and then we're gonna close this rounded seam around the, the face opening, and we're gonna close the bottom hem seam, which has a little bit of a, a swoop to it since it goes up over the shoulder. That way our entire toque can be really nice and flat when we're closing these seams, and then we're gonna close the seam up over the top and behind the head. It doesn't matter which one of these two seams you close first, just make sure the right side of your fabrics are together and your corners are aligned so that you can get that stitch going nice and square. Now that I've closed both of these seams, I'm just gonna trim off my extra threads. I'm not gonna bother um, knotting these off. Oftentimes I'll knot them off uh, when they're on the inside of like a t-shirt or something like that. But this little toque is gonna be totally enclosed. So we don't need to knot them off. And then I'm gonna flip it around. Now this is a great uh, point for you to run over to your ironing board and give it a nice little pressing so that these edges are nice and crisp. Well, the toque is still flat. It's always easier to stitch as many seams as you can, keeping your garments flat and doing the pressing in between as well. And then we're gonna get this ready to go. So here we are ready to close the last seam. And for this last seam, because we totally turned this garment around, we'll need to leave a little opening. I'm just gonna assume that this light purple is gonna be the lining most often in this toque. So I'm gonna leave the hole for my for turning it in this light purple. I'm just gonna line up uh, these transition seams here from the one color to the other. And actually what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna fold one seam allowance to one side and the other to the other side, just so that it doesn't get so thick over this transition. Next, I'm gonna take this back to my machine and just totally close up the entire purple side. So up the back of the neck, over the top, across the face opening, and we're gonna do a right and left seam. I'm just gonna make sure that I flip my seam allowances the same direction here as well and line those up so that we don't get offset. And then as we come back over the, the tip of the light purple side, our lining side, so whatever side is is your lining, unless it's reversible, but we can stitch up this little hole really quite quite nicely so that you don't really see it. Uh, we're gonna just leave a little section open here right at the back. We are now ready to flip it around. I just left a teeny tiny hole so that I don't have to stitch up as much clothes. And since this fabric is so stretchy, this small hole is big enough. So I'm just gonna pop it through, pull it around, and we'll see what we've got. Check it out, it's just about complete. All we need to do now is just grab a little hand needle and thread and stitch up our little turn hole and then it's ready, ready to try on. There you have it, that brings us to the end of this episode of Workshop Wednesday. Now both my little nieces can run around in their little gnome toques and you can go and make little gnome toques for whoever you have on your Christmas wish, kids, grandkids, or if you want to, uh, Go to a little Christmas market and have some cute uh, toques on your table to sell. I'm sure anyone that passes by would love to have one. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Workshop Wednesday. Don't forget, if you don't have the pattern yet, the link is down in the description box. Just click on it, fill in your name and email, and I'll send you the pattern so you can get started. As always, take care and happy sewing.